All right, people, welcome to Fortnite. Now, there's a little known fact of the benefits of Save the World. As you can see, we have a creative mode, we have the Battle Royale, and then we have Save the World. I have Save the World, and I will show you the benefits of having Save the World. should be done any second now all right okay so and save the world there's a main story that you can follow so basically it's like an RPG it has it has chapters and you keep playing and you keep unlocking stuff and as you can see up there where it says like a re mission rewards you get V bucks and if you play Fortnite, you know that V-Bucks is the cash currency that you could buy. So you could get skins and you could get all types of stuff. Over here, if you have saved the world, you could just play the story and get V-Bucks as you play. And yes, Fortnite does have a story. Fortnite has a story about the storm. See, the storm is attacking and when you first start playing Save the World, it shows you the story, and as you play, it shows you, it has an actual story. It's not just a battle royale and everybody killing themselves, there's an actual story to it. All these are missions, they change daily. This has its own updates, its own team that works on the patches and updates for this. There's different areas, you could go to the city city areas, you could go to industrial areas, you could, you could go to the grasslands, forests, there's rural areas, and as you progress in the story, you unlock other areas as well, within, and it has different ambience, and I'm impressed, I'm really impressed with the amount of detail and work that they put into this game mode that nobody plays, nobody plays. Here, as you can see, we have our locker. We have our own locker over here. We have our own locker over here with our stuff for Save the World. We have all our our, our heroes. We we have heroes. Heroes we unlock. There are some of these heroes, or a lot of these heroes, are exclusive. Exclusive for save the world like let me show you for example this one right here she's exclusive for save the world you can't get her in the normal game at least not not that i not yet or i don't think anytime soon he's a unique hero too where could i actually show you guys there's so much to it it's a full-fledged rpg there's so much to it Here's my build, because you actually make a build. So the heroes I have in the back are my support team. And the one in the front is obviously the one I'm mainly using. I have different loadouts. I will unlock more stuff as I go. Like, there's more to it than... This is more yeah. for the... You know, Swallow you want to actually play the Fortnite game. Then this is it. This is the actual Fortnite game. It's got its own shop, skins, and a whole bunch of stuff. I, I think it's pretty awesome. I think only playing Battle Royale all the time gets tiring. And I really enjoy... I Look, the Deluxe Edition, it's $20. No, $20 for me to upgrade. I don't remember how much this came out. But it's completely awesome and you get your V-Bucks back as you can see over here you get daily missions every day you get a mission that gives you from 50 to 100 V-Bucks it could vary in that range you complete the missions and you get those V-Bucks daily as you can see I have quite a amount of V-Bucks that I've been accumulating just to save it up for when I see something that I actually want to get but let me actually show you guys the gameplay. Let's go in. I have to rescue survivors to finish my daily. 
And let's go into city. Let's do this. Alright, it should be starting anytime now. I will cut out all these loading. It should be starting anytime. Keep your eyes open for survivors. Find survivors. Reach them before the husk do. The husk are the monsters we encounter. Rescue survivors may need convincing. Yes, they need to feel absolutely safe in your hands for them to trust you and go with you. Alright, it's about to start. Let's see how it goes. To get clobbered by a monster squall. We've got 20 minutes to evacuate the survivors. Good luck. As you can see, the storm. See, the storm is like another dimension storm and it spawns all over the place and spawns monsters with it. Then save the world. We gather materials and the reason we gather materials is to build weapons. These are our weapon blueprints that we've been collecting throughout the seasons. Chinese New Year, Halloween, we got a Christmas one right here, and we've just been collecting them, you know, and we build our blueprints, put them there as for us to use, and we could use many weapons that are not even in Battle Royale. And as you can see, this is what I was talking about. There's quite a lot of detail in this game mode. Look at this. So the world has ended. That's the story in Fortnite. The world has ended. The apocalypse is upon us. And this is basically a post-apocalypse. Where there's only survivors that have gotten, that has gotten this, this far. And we basically re rescuing them to take them to home base. And yes, we do have a home survivor base that danger. we build. Where? Where is this survivor? Let me use my Please gadgets help. to protect him. Hey, it's calling Teddy. Out. And this, this right here, this is our friend Teddy. He's one of our many gadgets. And he's a specific um, skill for the class I'm using, which is Outlander. That's incredible. And as you can see, I didn't have to do much. Teddy's got my back. Love Teddy. Keep up the good work. So we rescued one survivor. We need to rescue six survivors at least to complete this mission. Here we found a loot llama. The save the world version of the loot llama. And as you can see, we break it so we can get a lot of supplies. Supplies, material. It's very important in Save the World. Because the diff one of the differences in Save the World also compared to the regular Battle Royale is that you you can build you can build traps you can build traps you can build defenses you can build all, all, all sorts of stuff man like as you can see I have all sorts of traps I can build I could build spikes in the floor Because there, there are some missions where you have to defend the area and you can build all sorts of traps, man. And it's, oh, they're spawning right there. And you could, let's see if I can lure them into my traps. Oh. Come on, fellas. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Like, Save the World has got its own unique take. Oh. Come on. A little more. Save the world has got its own unique take on Fortnite. Which a lot of people I I'm I'm guessing. 
since nobody talks about it and when I do hear them talk about it they pretty much hate on it I'm guessing at least 80% of people do have no idea how awesome Save the World is as a matter of fact look at this look at this look at the details look. look at the details in this Teddy you got my back right this chicken buckets? It is chicken buckets. Like, why would they have details when there's hardly any people that play this? Look at they even put the monitors on top. Look at this. You can scavenge this. Like, a, it's like almost a true fleshed out apocalypse survivor game. It's pretty awesome. I, it is my opinion that it's pretty awesome. The, the, Police cars have donut on it. Like the amount of detail and work they have put into this, it's pretty astonishing. It's pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome game mode. If I do say so myself, I really enjoy it. Let me use my skateboard, my hoverboard actually, my hoverboard. To speed this up because I've only rescued one survivor I've been talking too much should be a survivor right here survivor in danger coming let's put Teddy and let's beat some husk down with my back protect him there's a time certain time limit that I have to protect him They don't get him, and then I could just get him into my base. Oh, snap. I mean, compared to the Battle Royale, the melee weapons in this game are amazing. I love using melee in this game mode. Saving lives. You're welcome, guy. You're welcome. I love using melee weapons in this mode. Like, I really enjoy the melee weapons. Just like, wow, well, not too long ago, there was a Star Wars event, and I, like, there was nothing more amazing than the lightsabers. I wish they would bring them back. No survivors here, no reason to stop. Oh, I see a tent over there. It might be a survivor tent. Survivor in danger. And yes, it is. Need help. I'm under attack. Yeah, damn right. Now, as you can see, their their skins are I'm hanging on them like hoodies and those are not hoodies that's their skin man their skin is hanging right these are the humans that didn't survive they got contaminated they got contaminated by the storm okay how many survivors I got that's the third one let's keep looking see these right here these are asleep because obviously if they're not killing people, they ain't nothing to do. So they're just there. And if you're careful enough, you won't wake them up. But as you can see, their skin, their head popped out of their mouths. It's something really astonishing, to be honest. Really impacting. <laughs> like when you really come to realize that that's not a hoodie, that that's their skin. They've got me surrounded. Oh, Teddy. Come on, Teddy. Good job, Commander. Thanks, you are not a bear. Alright. Alright, how many survivors are we missing? Two more. Fire hydrants, mailboxes, uh, like trashed buses. Grab some metal, I do need metal. 
I mean, I'm not that far in the story. I've been playing it not so long, but I really enjoy it. I gotta Survivor be honest. Survivor in danger. I wish it was more accessible with Please Survivor help! right here. I'm under attack. I wish it was more accessible to more people because not everybody's willing to to buy this mode. But I guess um, they won't just put it for free since well, there's nobody around. Is there somebody around? Wait, what is that? Somebody around here. Where? Huh? Need help? But I have to break it open. It's taking too long. I don't want to die. Good job, Commander. Yeah, yeah. Good save. Like you. Like I could literally hey, take this building down. I could break all this. I could break this whole building down and and bring it the whole thing, the whole structure down if I wanted to. I could do it. This might take me a little bit. Yeah, oh, what what are you doing? Thank here? you. I was getting worried. I know it's a lot to ask. I really can't leave without it. Look at this. It's somewhere that... nearby. Oh, snap. Check your map for the location of the med kit. Med kit? Come on, man, you know what I mean? He's got paper toilet, he's got I could scavenge his stuff too. He's got a, a porter potty with the toilet on a stick right there. The t his own TV, his giant backpack, a suitcase, which I'm going to take his stuff. Like, legit, this is all the details they put in this. Look, this is the fire station. They got their lockers. If I actually go upstairs, I think they got their bedrooms, too. Oh. Wait a minute. I know I they, they have bedrooms. I've seen them before. Here we go. Look at this. Look at the detail. Like, it's pretty astonishing, all this, like, dude, this is all the unsung heroes of Fortnite, man, the people who do all this. Alright, let's concentrate, we need to find this mech kit, we need to find this mech kit. So we could rescue this final guy. Should be around here. This circle right here indicates that. Aha! Somebody needs help. Survivor in danger. Let's use both our drones here. Let's use this guy. No, not that. This guy. There we go. Let's, let's use Teddy over here. Oh, they should be able to grab my bat just in case. Okay, it says the the mech kit. Oh, the mech kit is just floating. Got it. Oh snap! Oh, Teddy's gone. Let's throw another one. Another saved life. Alright, I rescued my six survivors. And I think I was only missing five or four to complete my daily, so I completed that too. Which means by the end of this mission, I will get my 50 V Bucks. So that's a win. Now let me stop using my metal. And we got the mech kit, so we might as well just give this guy. And I didn't make that jump. Let's give this guy the mech kit he asked for. Where is he? He was over here. 
Like all right, now let's break all your stuff because you're not you're not gonna need none of this. Let's try to take this this building down. Like that. sometimes I this is the the thing about me. Sometimes I make I put challenges to myself which make no sense. Why do I do the things I do? Oh my god, this place is bigger than I thought. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. Well, I did finish the mission already. We could keep exploring. Look, they got a basketball hoop park. Like, this legitly looks like a uh, places. Oh, snap. <coughs> I really want to take the fire station down. Where are you coming? Shouldn't take me that long. I'm just missing a few more walls and the whole place comes down. And I could applaud my self achievement. That I set up for myself. Is this the last piece? Yes! And I have taken it down. I have achieved my goal for the day. Alright, let's ride. Let's ride. Hoverboard away. Let's explore. What haven't we explored? Let's explore this way. See, the maps aren't terribly big, especially the ones that are short uh, missions like this. But as I said, you do unlock more areas, more maps as you go. And there's a lot I haven't seen. There's so much I haven't seen. Like, basically, I'm in the beginning of the game. I find it pretty awesome. I just wanted to express and show you guys what a lot of people are missing out, you know? Uh, oh, look at this. I'll probably... Oh, Survivor? I'll probably name this... Oh, snap. Look at these Incoming. graffitis. No, not the graffitis. How dare you? This was like an alley in between the apartment houses filled with graffiti. That was pretty awesome. I'm telling you, the amount of details, who's going to see this? Who's going to see these things, you know? But, come along. Oh, come on. This guy really is useless, ain't he? What are you doing? Just, just fight, man. Commander. We're gonna need a bigger base. Two minutes before I have to pull you out. Whoa. What have we got over here? And it looks like this is a car wash. There's a car wash right here. It's pretty awesome. And everything, as you can see, everything got looted and trashed as people went and fell into chaos. It's pretty awesome. It's, it's got its own story. You get free V-Bucks. The amount of work they put into this, they deserve, you know, it's worth the buy, man. It's worth the buy. Uh, they kind of they kinda deserve... And it's a win-win situation. You get daily V-Bucks every day. So it's a win-win. You know, there's plenty of people that can't buy everything that comes out in Fortnite. But here you have a chance to do a one-time buy. And just save up. And every once in a while, you could buy something. Save up for something you really want, man. 
40 seconds left, I'm done. It's over. So it was pretty nice showing this. I know I feel pretty happy about showing you guys this. Especially Here now that everybody's locked inside left. their houses because of what's going on. You know, I feel like investing in something like this, spending a lot of time playing games you like. Oh snap. Detail, man, the detail. Playing games you like. You know, why not? Get your monies back. I can't believe it! That was nearly everyone. That was pretty fun. our final score return to home base let's do a little dance before we return to home base yeah, do that do that do that got our mission reward. We, we reached level 3 loot. We got experience boost, some, some material for crafting, and gold for buying in the shop. The Illuminati gold. Alright. And we completed our daily quest. Which gives us more gold and the 50 V-Bucks. So we could add it up to that's the wild V-Bucks up there. So I don't know about you guys, but thank you for watching. That was pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. Thank you for watching, and I hope you consider buying. Well, I don't know why I say that. It's not like I'm sponsored or anything. But yeah, you know, it would be nice to have a bigger community in this game mode. So I guess I'll see you guys next time.